What we're trying to focus in is developing systems that you can constantly innovate, systems of where you can constantly upgrade the technology, and then most importantly, developing soldiers that can use that technology better than anybody else. We've had a great deal of interest at the show this year um, with the concept of integrating the Black Hornet sensor into vehicles, providing vehicle crews and mounted troops with immediate situational awareness. This provides a safe, simple and scalable solution. I think what's important for us is a good mix of people. And I think what's fantastic about IOV is you've got a great um, content in the actual conference area, but at the same time around us we've got a lot of exhibitors um, which gives us great uh, interaction with some senior delegations but also senior officials from some of the bigger OEMs around the country. Um, and I think, if I'm honest with you, the return on the investment we get is, is, is fantastic. As lead sponsor for the event, we've had tremendous value. Great international speakers uh, at the conference, uh, a lot of footfall, uh, particularly from international delegations who, who've been showing a great deal of interest. The conference has evolved over the four years I've been involved and I think this year we're really getting to hit the sweet spot. It's a conference that's the right size. It's not too big that you get lost in it, it but it's big enough to get really good speakers. And over the last two days, we've had keynote speakers at the very top of their professions from a, a number of NATO and non-NATO nations to come and explore the development and evolution of the armoured fighting vehicle capability. One of our big aims is to improve the quality and reduce the cost. But at the strategic level, it's all about extracting more from our legacy fleets before we can afford to replace them with new capability. So we've heard from people outlining their capitalization programs, their upgrades, and I think that's where the real value of a conference like this, where you're learning from others some of the lessons that they've learned um, without you having to spend the money yourself. Uh, we're here at IEV, this is I think the third year we've been here now, um, and we're here really to showcase the capabilities that Lockheed Martin has in the UK. We're showing the Piranha 5 uh, 8x8 vehicle, it's got front and rear wheel steering, 32 tonne payload, a lot of internal volume, high survivability. The reason it's popular is it's a contender for the mechanised infantry vehicle programme. What's outstanding about this show is that you get a one-to-one -one on key people that quite frankly you couldn't get to any other way. This is our third time attending as an exhibitor. Uh, before that we've come and just attended previously just to participate in the event. Uh, you won't find a better place to network. We got to meet all the buyers of the military of the different countries around the world under one roof in three days. You get into a small intimate venue like this and you can truly spend time with those guys and that just adds an immense amount of value.